Glory to Jesus Christ. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Hello, brothers. Hello, sisters in Christ. I hope that you all are well in the Lord. I hope that you all have had a fantastic week so far. And as always, I am honored to be your sister in Christ. And I thank you for coming. Listen, this is going to be something that I don't do. I don't do these kind of videos, but I felt strongly led to release this word. This is for a specific woman of God. And I pray that you watch this message. The Lord allowed for me to come across some um, internet material that you've been releasing. And I prayed about it. I prayed for you and God said, go ahead and release it. She is going to watch this video. And I believe this word is going to be for some other people too. It's very specific. It's very narrow to people that are on social media. They have a social media presence. Okay. Now I don't do this, but I am going to obey God and I'm going to prophesy to you woman of God, because I really believe that you need this. Now you're going through some things right now and you have been going through some things. You are an influencer, right? You're somebody that speaks to an audience of people via video. Okay. And you know, I, I understand that you are a person that really believes in having a transparency about what you say. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being transparent in those instances when you're using yourself as an example, or you're using a circumstance as an example to help portray a message to a people and also to let the people know that you are human just like they are right you are somebody that falls short of the glory of God just like they do there is nothing wrong with testifying praise God to a situation but here is the prophetic word for you I'm prophesying to you woman of God because the Lord says that this is why you continuously are up under attack God says to stop telling the enemy what is happening in your life as it relates to how you are being attacked. I need to say it again. God says, stop coming on camera. Stop going to your mother. Stop going to your sister. Stop going to your best friend. Stop going to that coworker on your job and telling them exactly what the enemy is accomplishing in your life. You have been saying that you feel like you've been up under attack. You say that you you've been up under witchcraft. You say that there are people coming for you. There are circumstances that are happening in your life and you can't understand why these things are happening. But God is saying, woman of God, you are a social influencer. And I believe that there are some other people that are dealing with this within families on their jobs, praise God, or maybe even in the church, right? But God says the reason why the enemy has been so successful with coming for you is because you keep releasing, you keep releasing the attacks. You keep telling people what the enemy is doing. And instead of you coming against the attacks in your own personal time, because remember your fight, Okay. It's not physical. It's, it's against the evil principalities that come from the kingdom of darkness. Okay. Your fight is spiritual, right? But instead of you fighting spiritually, you are physically giving the enemy all the news. You're telling the enemy how successful they are at coming against you. You're telling the enemy that you're miserable child of God, your enemy or your enemies are monitoring you. Don't you know they paying attention to what you're doing? When you come on camera, they checking your videos to see how you look. They checking to see how you feel. They checking to see if their witchcraft or their curses, right, are, are, are working in your life. For some of you, your coworkers are waiting on you to go somewhere and tell somebody else about what Satan did to you. Some of your coworkers are waiting for you to come to them and tell them how bad your day was, how bad your night was, right? Some of your family members are waiting for you to come to them and tell them how this failed. They're waiting on you to give them the report of their attacks. They need to see how successful their attacks are in your life. The Lord says it's okay to be transparent, but when you're dealing with specific attacks in your life, where the enemy is coming for you and you don't have anywhere else to go, God says, come to the altar. God says, start your fast. God says, talk to somebody that is in the body of Christ. Talk to somebody that can be trusted. And if all else fails, come to him, pray. 
pray against these attacks, but don't let the enemy know what you're going through because that is how the enemy is getting the upper hand in your life. That is how you are opening the door to your spiritual attacks. You're trying to figure out what is going on. What's going on is that you are letting the enemy know that it is successful in your life. You're letting the agent of Satan know that their plot, their plan, their attack, their slander, their mockery, their lies are successful in your life. And God is saying to keep your mouth closed. There is a time and a place for everything. And God is saying during the time in which you are dealing with warfare, you're dealing with attacks. Okay. You're dealing with issues in your life. That is not the time to express and be transparent to an audience. It's not the time to express and be transparent with family members and people on your job. But that is the time for you to go to God in your prayer room. That is the time for you to go to your altar and to pray and to tear down and cast down any demonic spirit that is coming against you. That is the time for you to exercise your authority in Christ Jesus and say, Lord, rebuke you. Lord, rebuke you. I come against any curse, any form of witchcraft, any black magic, Anything that comes from the kingdom of darkness, Lord, rebuke it. Lord, destroy it. Lord, dismantle it in the name of Jesus. Do you hear the word of the Lord, woman of God? I hope you watch this. I pray that you watch this. I am praying for you and I believe that you will get the victory. Praise the living God. But the Lord says, stop making an announcement as to what the enemy is doing in your life because it is not for the people to see. It is something that you bring before the altar until you get the victory. Do you hear what I'm saying, woman of God? I love you, okay? Be blessed. Bye.